Hi guys, and just a little thing about how our universe expands. It's uh, nothing special. Our universe expands. It accelerates actually the outer edges of our universe. They accelerate just like gravity accelerates objects towards our planet. And that's not a coincidence. Action is minus reaction. So when we have a force on our planet, it's this reaction is pushing out uh, other universes, the outer edges of this entire cosmos. Well, let's see. How does this work? Mm, right. Ruler. This is a dock. Represents a dock. This represents a ship. I'm not a great artist, but you can see a ship. Show smokestack, lifesavers, and uh, a few props and although the ship is stationary it pushes against the dock it's called a force there's no energy involved it's just pushing so it's no potential just potential potential energy does not exist it just pushes against the dock however on the other side it accelerates rafts boys necks all kinds of stuff outwards because it moves the water outwards so the, the surrounding objects are pushed out to sea. And that's that complicated. Now we have again a dock, stationary dock, because the ships are pushing from all sides, so the dock is stationary, practical stationary. Almost. The ships accelerate large bodies of water whilst being stationary. The same thing as before, but now we have eight ships. They uh, accelerate the water outwards. Slow water comes in, probably from beneath or the sides, but slow water comes in, fast water moves out, so the water outside, uh, going out, has a bigger impulse. This is our planet, it's the same thing, exactly the same thing. This is our planet, and we have all those nucleons spinning. Uh, the blue ones represent the crystals, the structure of a uh, metal, and the other ones uh, uh, represent the spinning, but you know, they are oriented in all kinds of directions and they spin, propel, just like the propellers of these ships, they propel the gravitons outwards, they accelerate them, gravitons come in very slow, accelerate a bit faster outside, going outside of the universe. Now there's a small thing here about uh, time dilatation, we have the reference time on Earth, this is our time, when you have a satellite orbiting the planet close by, it has to have uh, it has to go fast because if it doesn't go fast, it will plummet down to Earth. It has to be in a balance of uh, being pulled out to Earth and having a uh, centripetal force within that balance. So if you have a satellite, if you want the satellite to be stationary, pointing at one point on this planet. It can be close by because then it would plummet down to Earth. It has to move pretty fast on a bigger, in a bigger orbit. So it moves fast. The time there uh, differs from Earth because over here the gravitons are accelerated, and here the the fast gravitons are diluted. The so Earth accelerates gravitons, and gravitons are all around. So over here they get diluted. Time close a bit down. And another thing, um, compared to Earth, because we have lots of fast gravitons here, less gravitons going fast here, so time slows down. And there's another reason why time slows down on a satellite, and that's its tremendous speed it needs to circle our planet. So there are two factors uh, slowing it time down on a satellite. But I was talking about the expansion of our universe, ships pushing against the dock, pushing out bodies of water, matter pushing against earth, pushing out bodies of ether. Yes, ether does exist. Well, next picture. Are you sure it's the next picture? Let me see. Yes, it is. This picture. This represents the galaxy, and those represent outer galaxies. 
And as we all know, if you swim against the tide, if you swim against the tide, you will lose. And that's actually what happens on a very small scale. The gravitational force pulls stuff together, keeps it in orbit, pulls it together. That's what it does in general. But because it does so, it pushes out large bodies of ether. It accelerates those particles. So there's an outgoing impulse of ether, the outer borders of our universe. So galaxies on the edge will accelerate out into open space. It's exactly the same as with ships pushing against the dark, accelerating uh, objects in the water. This is the same thing, matter pushing onto those planets. Matter itself accelerates gravitons in outer space, accelerating those large bodies of gravitons means any galaxy within those large accelerated bodies will accelerate too. That's all. Thank you.